tasty, healthiest food video for you, and the food of the day, Brussels sprouts. Everyone's favorite. My husband's making a face right now. I really do enjoy Brussels sprouts when they're cooked properly. A lot of people will steam Brussels sprouts, and to me, that just tastes like wet turds. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like steamed Brussels sprouts at all. The thing that makes Brussels sprouts taste good to me is roasting them in the oven. That really caramelizes the sweetness in them and it brings out the good flavor that you want to taste. Steaming just doesn't do it. So today we're going to uh, do a roasted Brussels sprout, but first let me tell you why Brussels sprouts are so awesome. First of all, they can help lower your cholesterol. They protect your DNA and your white blood cells. They're full of antioxidants. They're an anti-inflammatory. They can help prevent cancer, lower your cholesterol. Oh, did I already say that? Don't know. I think it's worth saying it twice because the fiber in there bonds with the fats and it helps prevent arterial sclerosis. They look like tiny little cabbages and they're, and they're very similar to cabbage because they're cruciferous and that is what helps them be so healthy. <laughs> in, in particular for losing weight because it's going to make you feel full and it's it's going to clean you out. It's um, detoxifying. It's full of vitamin K, vitamin C, and vitamin A which is going to help your eyesight a lot. It's going to help prevent against macular degeneration. So let's begin. I've got, I think this is about two pounds or so of Brussels sprouts here and I've washed them and it's a very simple recipe. I've got my oven set to 400 degrees. I'm going to use a very good quality olive oil and I'm going to drizzle on about three tablespoons, maybe four. I'm not going to bore you with all that and I'm going to add about three quarters of a teaspoon of sea salt or kosher salt for flavor. It'll help when you put the salt, a lot of people are like, oh, not too much sodium. You still have to put a little bit, even if you don't want too much salt, because that really helps bring out the flavor. And I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of ground pepper, and I have a beautiful peppercorn medley grinder here. So this has all the different flavors of the pepper. It's really tasty. I highly recommend that if you're interested in um, upgrading the regular pepper that you get at the supermarket. Although I did get this at the supermarket. I'm talking about the regular old black pepper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a free hand smoothing. I'm going to stick my hands in here and I'm going to, you know, toss them around. Uh, put this in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour at 400 degrees and check back with me and you'll see. You'll want them. All right, so there they are. They just came out of the oven a few minutes ago. Would you do me the honor of tasty tasting them? Actually, you move over here because the lighting is... Go ahead. I thought you loved me. I do love you. You'll be very surprised, I promise you. They're very, very good. Yeah. Not bad. Well, it's got a little bit of a bitter... Yes, but is that what you expected? There's a lot of salt on there that helps. <laughs> I told you the salt brings out the flavor. Well, yeah, but it brings out the blood pressure too. Well, it's sea salt. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Would you recommend it? Let's put it this way. I'm not ordering that. <laughs> Which are edible, I guess. Once or twice in a year. Okay, so there you have it. Till next time. Much love. Okay, I got a drink now. <laughs>